Hello and welcome to another edition of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop. This is the ninth episode of Shift Break, almost to the big 1-0. And uh, yeah, it's been a good time so far. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully this will be something that's valuable to you. Today's episode, Fix the Small Stuff, is going to serve as a bit of a reminder, something that I don't think we needed reminding of when we were baristas, when we were using the tools in the cafe and following the instructions that we were given over and over again, we were really, really aware of all of the little things that were wrong with what we were doing. You know, there are things that were broken on the bar, um, leaking things, falling off things, um, problems with dispensing. Uh, There's lots of different uh, items needing to be replaced or, um, you know, some way of making a drink is more complicated than it needs to be. There's a lot of functional, uh, practical issues that are just requiring small tweaks, little changes, small purchases, just a little bit of attention, follow through, and execution on the part of management would just relieve a lot of tension that's felt when you have to use that uh, sometimes broken pitcher rinser or that knockbox bar that's just falling apart. If you are constantly battling with the ice machine or the paper towel dispenser in the bathroom, whatever it happens to be, maybe uh, one of your baristas has told you about this and you just haven't got around to fixing it because, you know, the schedule has to come out soon and it's hard to, you know, manage all of the details beyond the cafe, let alone the little things in the cafe. Now, this is a real struggle. And I want to say, the longer you wait to deal with these small things, the harder it's going to be to deal with them later. You want to stay ahead by taking care of the small stuff as it comes up and don't let it slip. Um, If that requires delegation to somebody else to do a payout to go buy sponges, then fine. It is absolutely necessary to keep up the morale of the team that is using the stuff, the tools of the trade, um, the towels, the sponges, the knockbox, the pitcher rinser, the portafilter handles, all of the stuff that we rely on Uh, and reach out to use and expect will work. And when it doesn't work, it's just so frustrating. And sometimes it's infuriating when it doesn't work and you know that it's a known problem, but nothing has been done about it. Um, I realize that there are constraints. I realize that maybe something is a really expensive fix. At least acknowledge the issue and the reason why it's not being solved right away. Uh, make that public, at least, because I guarantee you, your team is wondering why. Why is this not fixed? And the longer those things kind of build up and build up, the easier it gets to just resign yourself to the fact that, well, this is just the way it is now. And the baristas do it too. They resign themselves to the idea that, you know, no, this is never going to get fixed. It's just the way it is. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, You know, I, I mean, they know about it. We, I, I told them uh, about this. I told the manager, they know, they know. And we keep on saying, they know, they know. And it doesn't get fixed, so it just is. This is a dangerous place to be for morale. This is a, a point of real, real importance, especially when you want to start expecting more of your employees. If there's a big change on the horizon, if there's a big project that you want people to be all on board for, If the little things are not fixed or taken care of in the day-to-day, there's not a lot of buy-in that you're going to get from your team, at least not as enthusiastically as you'd like them to be, uh, when it comes time to rally around the big stuff. So what I think you should do after listening to today's episode is start to make changes quietly and consistently in small ways. On your way to work, stop by Walgreens or whatever, whatever, and buy some new sponges, and just drop them off. Find out what those little annoyances are that you know that you can do something about, and just add it one step at a time. If you look at it as a big, big task, like all of these like 25 things that you know are wrong with a cafe, you're less likely to actually do anything about any one of them. And I wouldn't want you to just say, you know, I'm going to change all of this all at once, That's just overwhelming. Just 
start to do things a little bit at a time. And when they see you as the manager or even the owner in the midst of their world, because to a barista, everything that they're touching and using to make this experience in this cafe is their world. And again, what may seem like a small thing actually is a really, really big deal. And when you put yourself in the place of helping that thing and they see you do that, you're going to build rapport, you're going to build confidence, and you're going to find yourself feeling more confident. And eventually that punch list of items that were kind of wrong with a cafe or even things that uh, you know, has to do with workflow, you know, like the ideas of better ways to arrange the grinders around the espresso machine for the flow of your bar. These are things that you'll be able to say yes to more readily because you'll have a series of successes uh, under your belt of changing and fixing and replacing and people will get excited and you'll see people's eyes light up when things that were always just kind of there aren't there anymore. So that's what I want to leave you with today. Take a first step and start to fix the small things in the cafe. Just execute step by step. Don't try to fix it all at once or take a Saturday to bang out everything. Make this a habit. Make it a part of the way you operate from here on out. And over the next month or so, you'll probably just get through all of those items on your punch list. And in time, you'll be able to stay on top of it in the idea of being paralyzed by this insurmountable task of, of little things that build up in the cafe will start to ease. The grip will be just eased up on you. And you'll be able, like I said, to stay on top of it. But you'll see a change in the culture. You'll see joy uh, when those little things start to get ironed out. And one of the primary ways to make a big difference in the cafe and in the lives of your staff starts with being on top of and fixing the small stuff. So thank you again for joining me today. That's our episode. I hope that it was inspiring to you. hope it made a difference and was valuable. And I will see you here next week for another edition of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop.